hello. What have you got in your face here? Just move, move that for you. Straighten you out a bit. Today we are going on a lovely, relaxing cruise into one of my favourite cities, Lincoln. Give you a nice view of the, uh, well, any city really. It's quite difficult to film in cities. So um, I've decided to start in a really quiet location where I can speak to you without looking like an idiot. <laughs> you know, there's no one else around that's going to uh, say, oh, what are you doing? Oh, I don't care, do I really? But um, yeah, we're going to go through a very busy um, area of the, the network, really, in terms of how many people are walking around. It's a real tourist city. Incredible place to visit and just explore, wander around, whatever. Got my coal. Coal delivery arrived yesterday. Got nine bags on the roof <laughs> and one bag inside. I've had comments like, you know, oh, aren't you worried that people are going to steal it? Well, there's nothing I can do if they want to steal it. It's, it's there and I, and I haven't got a, a garage or a shed to, uh, to store it in. So uh, that's where it's going to have to stay for now until I actually burn it. But yeah, we just buy a pub, moored by a pub called the Pie White Inn, which is just behind me here. It was not pub of the week. Well, <laughs> it uh, seems like more of a, a nice place to have a cream tea or whatever, rather than, um, you know, a nice sort of fireside pint but um do you know what i've not been in there for about four years so uh, i can't really comment here we go right we're setting off you can see your comments coming in everyone watching it live loving it this is just such a great experience for me as well as you guys it just keeps me company whilst i'm making these cruises um before starting to film canal boat diaries and carrying on with the series series four but uh, for now, it's all about our little journey into Lincoln. So here we go. Hope you're doing well and you're uh, taking some time out of the day or chilling at home, working at home, from home, wherever, wherever you are. Just going to go on a nice little journey here along the Fosdyke Canal and then we'll join on to the River Witham at the Brayford Pool. Just get my guide out so I can tell you how far away it is. that I've just set off from is actually classed as well the address is Saxelby but I left Saxelby early this morning so I spent an hour or so just working my way up the canal passed by Burton Waters Marina and now oh, I've just passed a sign that said uh, 14 kilometres that's 14 kilometres from Torxey Lock I don't know why they but anyway, I wonder if I can show you here. We're about to pass some. We've got, so how many kilometres have we got on my map? Well, actually, no, there's just miles as well. We've got. We're going to, be, we're going to do about a little bit two miles today. This is where we're ending up in Lincoln. See how the. You're following the blue and red lines. If you don't know how to read these maps, you're following the blue. The red's the towpath and the blue is the, the water, obviously. And that's a large part of the water, Rayford Pool, and that is where there's some permanent moorings and where I've actually lived for a, 
month or so. Got some questions coming in as always. Um, Matt Allen says, done, have you done your winter engine maintenance? I'm always doing maintenance on it, so it's not like I do it just in winter. Um, but I do need to do another oil change pretty well. Not desperate for one because I do it so regularly, but yeah, it's coming up soon. Thing asked, did I ever bump into Prunella and Timothy West? Prunella Scales and Timothy West. No, but I did more up in Braunston once uh, before I was making YouTube. I overheard Prunella Scales walk past and she had like a gaggle of old ladies with her as well, like sort of, oh, pr pr oh let, um, where's Tim? Should we help you find Tim? And just like being a bit too much. <laughs> and I just remember feeling, feeling like, oh God, that must be awful for them. Yeah, anyway, they seem to be. Um, yeah. smash, the, smash the like button, guys, <laughs> if you want to. Um, oh, that's a good question from Sari Fairy. Do you ever feel up by the older, boat, older boaters? Yeah, naturally I do, because that's all they ever, you know, I'm, I just meet people who are older than me. Um, if I was to go to London, however, I would be surrounded by people who are much younger than me. <laughs> it's just... Uh, how it works. I'm thinking this live stream is going to be the last one I do for a while because um, I get to be quite busy and on, well next week I start filming again on, on, on the TV stuff so it does take a lot of time to do that for that, get my laundry done, all that sort of stuff. I mean, I could take you with me doing my laundry, but no, it's too weird. <laughs> it's too weird. It's funny though. Well, I still might fit in a bit of a night out on Friday night, I think. Um, to meet up with some friends from Newark, actually, and um, just going to have a few bevies in town. So if you want to join, you're welcome. I don't know where I'll, where I'll be. <laughs> you know, I'm not that organised, come on. I like to go with the flow. But uh, I'll be heading to the, the still at some point. That's uh, pub of the week in Lincoln, the still. There's a question I missed out there. Uh, have, you, have you met Cruz in the car? Yeah, I have, many times. Um, I'd like to think we're good friends, you know, he, he's, he's a great chap and he's so supportive of new uh, vloggers and Instagrammers and all that sort of stuff. Uh, how much of the CRT network have you still to cruise? That's a good question because it's not all CRT, is it? Um, I, don't, I don't really know, maybe 25%, not sure. What is your favourite designed narrowboat that you've seen? Oh, I don't know, but the first one that comes to mind is one that I saw on the... On the um, oh, there's so many different ones. Some of them are like crazy and you think, well, that's really different, I love that. But other ones are just really nice colours, like this one I saw on the... somewhere near Leek on the Calden Canal. It's just green and yellow sort of colours. <laughs> Just funnily enough, the same colours I had when I had a bedroom when I was 17, I painted it green and yellow. I don't know why I did that. That was silly. And the bed's much bit nicer, tighter shades of green and yellow. <laughs> um, are you doing the silver propeller challenge? No, I'm, no, I'm not. Um, it, that's something to make sure that... Uh, it's like an incentive for people, isn't it, to visit areas that perhaps they wouldn't do normally, but for me, I, I, that's, I live in these areas. <laughs> well, you know, I often will go to those areas anyway, just because just I want to, not because I'll get an award. 
I've been, the questions are coming in thick and fast here. I hope I can answer them. Um, Matt Allen, Cranky Crew, has just asked me, would I ever swap the Naughty Lass for a different boat? I do like change and yeah, I would, I would sort of like to see what it's like with a longer boat or the, you know, a bigger boat, whatever. I've cruised other boats before, of course, but um, I wouldn't like to get rid of the Naughty Lass. But I'm a real dilemma at the moment, what, what I want to do. You know, do I put all my savings into doing this boat up or... Well, that would be the only option, really. <laughs> I don't have enough to buy a new boat. Unless I sold this one, that'd be, that's, that's too sad to even think of, anyway. Have you ever cruised in Ireland? No, I haven't. I've not um, ever been on. I've never, never been to Ireland, so um, that's one for future, definitely. What year was your boat built? 1980. <laughs> I was going to say 1940. 1981. It's all in the about section of my YouTube. Any FAQs you're thinking of are all there. Even like what type of engine it is and everything. And if you want to know what equipment I'm using for this live stream, that's all down in the description below this video. And even links to Amazon where if you can, if you want to buy some of the gear, like the Bluetooth microphone, for example, that is that would apparently net me a little bit of cash to spend on Amazon stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, what are your plans for Christmas? Hmm. I don't know. It'd be nice to have a bit of time off. It'd also be nice to do you know, a Christmas video on the boat or a Christmas live stream on the boat, that'd be good, wouldn't it? But yeah, I want to see my family, obviously. So I never, I never spend Christmas on the boat, because that's not where my family is. Maybe if I was close to them on the Kennet and Avon or something like that, we could do something like that. But they're not, you know, they see this boat as my boat, they don't, you know, <laughs> they don't care, care so much. I mean, they don't want to invade my space, I think that's the right way of putting it. Yeah, it's pretty cramped. We're all, we're quite a tall family. <laughs> and it's not so easy to get in and out of this thing. Apparently I'm about to pass someone's boat. Who <laughs> was that? Uh, Carl, alright Carl. <laughs> about to pass your boat. Okay, give us a wave then, mate. That'd be nice. I won't be able to have a protracted conversation because, uh, you yeah. know, A, I can't hear anyone, anyone saying, um, you know, away from the boat, but plus I'm also chatting to anyone from YouTube and that, so. I have to be shouting at them unnecessarily. next on my list of jobs to do on the Nord's Lass. Um, just, I'll just keep looking at the paint and thinking I need to repaint it. <laughs> just, that, that only happens either if I'm really organised and book it in somewhere to be hand painted. It could cost me an absolute fortune. Or I do it myself just whenever I can. You know. How long can I keep doing that? I don't know. Is it time for the Naughty Last to be completely stripped back and uh, stripped bare and re reclothed in a different shade of paint, maybe, or just the same? I quite like the, the colours that we've got already. A lot of questions here. Great. Um, are there any plans to the seven Sharp Nest to Bristol in your Canal Diary series? Um, if I was to make the plan, yes, I would definitely choose that uh, to do. I haven't done it yet, and it would be extra. Obviously, I could, you know, filming for YouTube. I can imagine that you are there with me. But um, for the BBC, I, I usually have a couple of production people with me. So, like, obviously, the producer Stu. Shout out, producer Stu, and uh, drone pilot Phil. They keep me company, and also, you know certainly make it interesting <laughs> in terms of the shots we get. 
Where's my ob favourite overnight verse? I don't know. Favourite overnight verse? It's, it's a, uh, what, just for one night? I suppose, like, by a pub or something would be good, wouldn't it? Because then you, you're only there for one night, you can have a few drinks, and then in the morning shift on somewhere else when you're hungover. <laughs> Not that I would encourage. Uh, yeah, please do prank responsibly. Lisa Barnes says, if you get to Sharpness, we will buy you several pints. I think I might need them by the time I get there. Pints of water, I mean, yeah, pints of water, thank you. Fizzy water. Um, if you could hug a canal, which one would it be? Oh dear. Which canal needs the most hugs? <laughs> the Huddersfield Narrow? Get my arms around that. <laughs> Been asked what the top thing, five things to consider when buying your own boat. I'm just trying to think of how you want me to answer that. Because that's, that's I can't answer that question. You know, I don't know. I don't know what you get. On this boat, I got everything. It all came with it. So I had to get a lot rid of a lot of stuff. <laughs> I didn't get it. But yeah, I suppose if you didn't have solar panels, I'd go number one. Solar panels. Number two, decent batteries for the solar panels. Depending on what you need. Uh, I get a washing machine. <laughs> A tumble dryer. Guys, to be an expensive boat now. You know, the batteries have to be lithium. Uh, number five, a hot tub. No, not a hot tub. Um, oh, um, well, yeah, just a really nice stove right in the middle. Gillian asked me, are you planning a lot of winter cruising or will you moor up somewhere? Uh, I usually do take it easy in winter and I just find somewhere random to moor up for a bit. <laughs> um, but this time I am going to be cruising for most of it. It's quite exciting. Might take a break in February. It all depends on the work. See how that goes, see how the TV stuff goes. Ah, my mum's just uh, popped up on the messages saying, it's not from her actually, because it says, hi Robbie, it's Hattie, my mum and dad. <laughs> Hello Hattie, and uh, I'm not dad. Better behave now. Not say the wrong thing. <laughs> Crank it crew member Matt Allen has just said we need some more likes, folks. Yeah, come on, guys, smash that like button. Don't smash it. Just gently press it in a relaxed way. <laughs> Asked how do I get Wi-Fi on my boat, and I use SIM cards. Two SIM cards. One's in my phone right now. Actually, I need to, I need to just check. I need to just check something. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I need to check the um, the actually the one taking the data because I've got unlimited data on this one but um, on the uh, my main router which looks exactly like a household broadband one but it's got another sim card in it and I share only a certain amount of data to that so it gets used up quite easily 100 gigabytes of data somehow just gets swallowed up but then my iPad is my TV so there you go even the radio is on the internet for me by a dab radio, just dab on all the haters. Which waterway would you like to see restored the most, says Gary? 
well I should really say the Wendover arm on off, off the Grand Union because I just uh, signed up as a, a patron um, but yeah the Grantham Canal I'd like to see that restored um, but there's like no, I think there's ones down south that I've got to be quite interested in Cotswold one or whatever. Any anyone any canal that links two together, that would be my top pick. <laughs> but there are canals where I think we actually just need to continue restoring them. Like they, they gave up, you know, like the Rochdale Canal. It's like, no, don't stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? Carry on. Just leave loads of concrete in the canal, actually at the sides of the canal. <laughs> Just to the channel through the part of Manchester and it's left the rest. I've been asked a lot of questions here about uh, which is my favourite sort of waterways. So which of the Yorkshire ones was the favourite? I don't, I don't know. Which one stands out? They all, they're all got their various merits. It's becoming my least favourite question now. I think. Uh, you know, what's your favourite canal or, or a similar? Because there's no right answer to that, really. It's all subjective anyway, isn't it? So who cares what I think? <laughs> Shout out to N Narrowboat Spudley. It was nice to meet you in the pub at Crick in the summer. I hope you bought a pint with the fiver I gave you. I don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> no, I do, I did, I did buy a pint. A very nice pint of Citra, I think it was. Fair. People know their ales. Not really an ale drinker, but I thought, well, that looks, that looks fun, and it was. How have the people along the canal treated you? Well, they're not coming out to say hello, let's just say that. <laughs> yeah, most boaters are, are alright with what I do. No one's called me any names yet. Would you ever, this is Maurice saying, hey Robbie, would you ever consider sound insulating the engine bay or have you gotten used to it by now? It was sound insulated and I ripped it all out it was just really thick and cutting out circulation of air. So sue me. You know, I don't, that's just, I just thought, well, the priority is it not overheating. I don't really give a damn about the sound. I like the sound. Yeah, bud. <laughs> there's, a lo there's loads of questions here, I'm missing a few of them out now. How long is Naughty Lass? All these, these questions, like the, the basic ones, are all in my About section on the YouTube. Are there any waterways you wouldn't go back to from choice, says Verity? Um, no, I think I answered this one fairly recently, I said, and what I said was, I just wouldn't want to go back to the one I've just been on. You know, I've done that, I want to see the next one. <laughs> so anyway. Digestive versus hobnob, now there's a subjective one for you, indeed. deal with needing a pee when there's nowhere to hand the more. <laughs> I'll leave that up to your imagination, Barry. No, I'll just uh, sort of go inside. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> How you doing? You're live on YouTube right now, so don't swear. <laughs> Is this your boat here? Cool. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, no, that rings a bell now. Yeah. <laughs> So this is like another one. <laughs> oh my God. Awesome. I can't remember when I last met you actually. Wait, what canal was it on when I last met you? Is it? 
And I made you wave at the camera, didn't I? I think, yeah. See you later anyway. So I just heard chatting to a boat who's met before. Which is still going, still going on the boat, which is great. Anyway, right. Now I'm starting to see actual Lincoln. You know, some houses here on the left and getting closer and closer to the visitor boards. Come peaceful though. It's about to get pretty hectic now. It's going to go for a busy area, that's all. I've just been asked if I get my coal in the end. Yeah, I got my coal. To the front of the boat. You can see it? White bags. Michael Shaw says, have you been on the Grand Union in Leicester? No, I haven't. I'd like to. Sounds like one to tick off. Can you purchase a quieter engine that knocking would drive me mental? Well, don't listen to it then. Bugger off. <laughs> I'm alright with it. You know, if you're not, that's fine. Go watch some other videos. <laughs> I can't recommend it, it, well I can, but I just don't watch them enough, you know, I'm not up to date, I don't watch canal boat videos, you know, I make them, and I watch like, music videos instead, skateboarding, whatever other stuff that's <laughs> not at all related to canal boats. Have your TV YouTube shows pushed the price of boats up? No, I believe that's to do with more materials rather than everything. <laughs> and the housing crisis. But maybe, I don't know. Hopefully I spell out how bad it is as well, as bad it is. I'd love to have a narrowboat, where do you buy them? Um, I mean, they haven't told me to advertise, but uh, Apollo Duck is a website that I used anyway. There's other ways, but I think that's the one of the best ways to see what's out there. <laughs> Carl, uh, who was on the boat, but I didn't actually get to wave to him. I don't know where he is. But uh, he was a boat that I was just passing and he was watching a stream. So hello Carl again. Um, he says I was drinking water <laughs> whilst... Well, I was drinking my water whilst he was Hearing me talk, it's a bit weird. <laughs> There's another one, right mate. <laughs> Thanks very much, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, yeah, a little bit further, then I'll turn around and I'll see you again next week. <laughs> Thank you, Thanks so much. This boat here on the right, Rosie. It's another one who's watching. <laughs> That's cool. So, hello, Christopher. He's not in, so I can't say hello. Hello, Christopher, how are you doing? Danny Acker says, about to pass us. Can't just see your nose around the bend. <laughs> well, I'll look out for you. Just got asked, do I ever stop off at bo boat shows? What, like physically with my boat? Just pop in? Nah, I can never get that organised. I mean, if you've tried to get anywhere at a certain time on a boat, it's just ridiculous. Very stressful. But, you know, if the money's right, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Will you have a new series on TV again? Yeah, some sometime next year. Do you like seeing other canal boat video bloggers on the cut? Um, yeah, you know, I, I, as I said, I'm not as much of a fan as you guys are, so I, I don't. But yeah, I'd always love to have a chat with other bloggers, whatever they're doing. But I always say take inspiration outside of your, your little industry rather than from, from you know, people who 
you're doing the same thing you're doing. Makes for more interesting variation in content anyway. Matt says, any more cooking? <laughs> no, not today. Just enjoying a bit of a lovely autumn cruise through Lincoln. Gorgeous weather, well lucky. Are you planning to get off the rivers for winter? Uh, yeah, I suppose that's, that's exactly where I'm going, but um, yeah, you don't really want to be on the river in winter. Not living there for a long period anyway, because it's just. Well, it depends where you are. Some, like, some rivers have nice floating pontoons, you know, it's all good. And, it's, and I love spending time on the river. I'm, I'm always cruising on the, on the rivers in winter, but I just. <laughs> nice to, because uh, at least they don't freeze, do they? They don't freeze over, generally. <laughs> I don't care. Wherever people are at me, that's where I'll go. Nice to see where you're going, but not as exciting as watching a faint red dot in the pitch black. <laughs> that comment there, I love it. Because that's what happened in the night, isn't it? On the river in the dark. All you can do is hear me comment on what I was doing. About to go past some, uh, I think it's a student housing on the right hand side. Uh, I think some of what you'll see on the right is visitor moorings, if I can remember right. Good question, can we see more of your cooking videos on YouTube? Yeah, most of my videos Especially some great videos from last year, last November. We had a fair bit of cooking in. And even at the time when I had a I made my own pad on the roof. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't seen those, check those out. It's a really nice relaxing autumn vibes and colours and all that sort of stuff. Travelling on the Trenton Mersey Canal. Asked, when will we see Naughty Lass down this way on the Wendover Arm? Well, I don't know. I honestly don't know. But it's got to happen at one at some stage, isn't it? Considering I'm a patron of the charity, of the society now. I've never even been there. <laughs> but I will do. As soon as I can, I'll be going down there, hopefully helping out on a work party or something like that, just getting involved. Matt Slanderous from Matt Allen there. Or Libelous. Slanderous? Yeah, Slanderous. It was not in the legal pub. Because I didn't serve anyone. Alright? <laughs> Only uh, through the medium of YouTube. No money changed hands, so I think I'm alright. Not culpable. put a silence on the exhaust, you can always do that, but I talked to my mate Scott about it and he said it wasn't that great idea and he used to make exhaust, so <laughs> I think he knows. So this is all... Um, I just passed a facilities point, waters, water point and all that. And just ahead of us you can see some water and some visitor moorings.
quite quiet at the moment. Not many people around. So the bit we're heading into, where I'm going to moor up, is basically outside a shopping centre. <laughs> so if I can get a, get a moor in there. So it may get a bit busier. The wind's picked up a little bit. Says, are you stopping off at Lincoln tonight or just passing through? Yeah, I will be stopping off. Um, if you just tuned in, I am coming into Lincoln City. Amazing place. Has the, the ugliest, some of the ugliest architecture you'll ever see. But <laughs> at the same time, behind all that, it's just beautiful. You know, so much to explore here. Some great, some cracking pubs. Well, they were the last time I was here. <laughs> On the left here somewhere, on one of these roads, there's a uh, really nice pub. I can't remember what it's called though, sorry about that. But it's in my Lincoln video, if you look at a video that I made. I should have called it Drinking in Lincoln, but I called it Through the Hole of Glory instead. <laughs> right Someone on the bike just passing. I uh, <laughs> got two people on the bikes just passing there. Just said hello to us. And we've got another lad coming through. Do you want to go that way? <laughs> Watch this. All right. <laughs> right we've got an app. We've got an absolute showboat coming through here. Because <laughs> this is the slowest he can go. Uh, 300 RPM. It. Obviously built for the seas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? Six hundred pound can buy you this if you're lucky. Look at that. He's gone on the wrong side of me, but that's fine because uh, we, you know, we decided that he just crept right up behind me, and I said, "Yeah, that's it. You carry on." <laughs> Normally, you should overtake on the port side. But yeah, he's saying the slowest he can go is that. Brilliant. Well done. <laughs> Some other boats have come out of their boats, which is cool. Quite like that, you know. So, otherwise, you, it's the time of year where you just hibernate. There's nothing to come out for. <laughs> the fire is nice and cosy and warm. to see how Lincoln's changed, but also just showing you how it's not changed as well. You're going to see, you're going to go through a, a bridge, which I believe is still the uh, oldest bridge that still has buildings built on top of it. You know, it's still being used in the same way. Am I headed down to Boston on this trip? I don't want to say. I don't want to say where I'm going or where I'm not going. You'll find out. Don't worry. Okay. So yeah, Lincoln Vista Moor is here. I was going to moor up here, but I thought I'll, I'll take you on a little journey instead. So 
is not bad little morning tea. I know it's right by the student accommodation. You'd imagine that gets really loud, but it's louder in Braveford Pool actually because it just the noise travels across the water, and that's where everyone, all the pubs kick out, and that's where the noise happens <laughs> mostly. West End Tap is closed. Oh, that's the pub I was just talking about. Ah, oh, shame. I think when you return to these areas four years later, a lot of things have changed. George says, how are you finding stardom, Bobby? I don't know, I'm just trying to stay oblivious to it, really. I don't, I don't want to think about it too much. <laughs> it's a bit weird. <laughs> It's a bit weird sometimes, but I'm getting used to it. It's not that bad. It's a, you know, a tiny little TV show on BBC4. It's quite niche, isn't it? It's not like everyone knows who I am. I'm just trying to see if I can remember if there's more boats here now than there has been before. It does seem like that. but maybe some of them moored in the Braver Pool and they were like, nah, do you know what, I can't afford it anymore and I'm just going to move out, but I'm still going to stay local. Or, I don't know, there's all kinds of reasons, isn't there? Hopefully they saw my video and thought, oh yeah, I can go and walk a bit in Lincoln. Stuart says, where, where you build when your boat was? <laughs> Do you mean, was I born when the boat was built? Uh, no, I wasn't. Not close. Right, here we are. I'm just coming into Brayford Pool, and this is where, uh, at some point, the Foss Dyke meets the Witham, the River Witham. Nick has just said they would have stopped at the Pie White Inn. That's actually where we started. So uh, technically we did stop there. <laughs> but my watch says 20 to 2. So it's still fairly early in my, my terms. Unless I'm having a Sunday fun day. I don't like to have any sort of drinking going on until a certain time. <laughs> Um, here we are, Brayford Pool. Now on the right hand side we just passed a load of moorings and they're all for shorter boats, you know, like cruisers. Yeah, 33 foot max, a lot of the same. I don't know if you heard it, but that was a um, boat ahead of us. He was given a nice long horn blast as he turned left. Should be two, I think, for left. <laughs> at, least, at least people know he's coming. I don't think he's good. actually going to stop very much. Matt says, have you still got the pickup? Yeah, I've still got it. It's with my mum and dad. Unless they've sold it. Crashed it or trashed it, I don't know what they've done. No. <laughs> no, they've been using it to move house with, so I think it, hopefully it's helped them a little bit. Winter of 2017, 2018, I was moored here in Braford Pool. Um, somewhere on the right hand side. So although there's a lot of cruisers here, I was nestled in amongst them. Yeah, just round about off the next turn or something. Just need to adjust the camera a little bit. Let's go past Holiday Inn. 
little glass weather spoons, Wagamamas, all those sort of places. <laughs> the Odeon Cinema. Yeah, it's all very modern down here. It does not look that great, but you know, whatever. It is what it is, as they say. There's a gig venue called The Engine Shed, and it's off to the right-hand side somewhere, I believe. I think you can just about see it from where we are. It's, it's covered by some trees. Anyway, they've got Soul to Soul playing tonight. Soul to Soul. But I might go to the quiz night at uh, the Still pub tonight, pub of the week. Although it is... I do find quizzes difficult, I have to say. I usually, I usually come last. <laughs> Just, I don't know, it's the kind of questions they ask. Any angers down there? Do you mean angler? <laughs> Anglers, come on people, spell. Take your time, spell things. But <laughs> I can't see anyone fishing, but I imagine there is no fishing allowed here. Because like, I've never seen anyone do it. But I could be wrong though. Could be wrong. Good point uh, that's just been made about World War II and all the bombing that would have taken place in this area, especially with all the bases, you know, RAF bases around in Lincolnshire Way. So this, this part could have been extensively bombed, I don't know. up on my military history. <laughs> oh brilliant. I've got to show you my friends here. It's going past. Hello! <laughs> How are you doing? Alright. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not you're almost in the same place as I left you. <laughs> See you later. Only for a few days, but yeah. <laughs> yeah they were, they've been off all over the place, even over to Europe from that uh, Dutch, Dutch barge. But um, yeah, it's nice to see, quite a shock really, see people that you knew more in the same place as you left them. Still in Brayford Pool, let's just see how it's changed much. Still got a little island off to the right there. Wobbly out there, it's just quite sort of Yeah, it doesn't look it doesn't look like too much has changed. There's a footbridge on the right hand side, but I don't believe that was there before. I don't remember that. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Matt says, will I retire to a quiet spot <laughs> after uh, getting fed up of being famous or whatever? But no, I'm, I don't know. How do you answer that question? I've not got, you know, if I won £100 million or whatever, I'd, I don't think I could step away from the waterway. I'd want to sort of invest it back in buy up all the um, grotty toilet facilities and just make them into really cool stopover places. How, how good would that be? Right, here we are, just about to go into Lincoln itself. It's going to get a little bit busier. Got lots of people walking around. going to hit the flow of the river because the river is coming towards us now. I'm, I'm conscious of this um, 
open. Let's crank it, uh, conscious of this live stream. Quality not being great. It may even cut out as we go through the town, uh, through the city. But uh, the picture itself seems to wobble when I speed up. <laughs> I like this sign, where have you been? <laughs> Sounds like you'd be able to get back from the pub too late. Your partner's like, where have you been? <laughs> Here we are. I'm on the river with them now. Going through the heart of Lincoln. So just around this corner, is the glory hole. I don't know why they call it the glory hole. <laughs> I get I get that a bit. You that canal man. <laughs> Someone just behind us is shouting. So we're going under this newer bridge now, but round the corner. Just uh, streaming live now if you want to watch on YouTube. If you want to watch on YouTube now, it's on now. No, this is, yeah, right. So, thanks, pal. I really appreciate that. Right, so I'm just going around the corner. Yeah. So, so, we're just going around the corner, and this is the glory hole. This is a bridge here. It used to be called the murder hole. And that's where um, a lot of dead bodies would wash up. And uh, the Bobbit local police would know this is the first place they would go to. to to check it out and see uh, who's... Yeah. They, they just think that's where they would end up. But yeah, a lot of heckling just then. Not heckling, just uh, people were excited that I'm coming through the town. City. But here we are, I'm just going to have to go into this amazing bridge with buildings on it. It's got a cafe above it, if I can remember rightly. I'm just going to shut up now so we can enjoy it. Seen something that only voters and people that are on the trip boats get to see. Amazing, isn't it? A little bit windy now. We're going to carry on through Lincoln. Which, if I just turn the camera around. The main sort of, that's the bridge there, we've just been in through obviously, and a lovely little street there. Can't wait to walk around again. Nice to be back. Always good to be back. So 
what what are you doing in Lincoln then? Are you sort of mooring up and uh, yeah. Sound. All right. Yeah, just doing like a live stream, you know. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Doesn't matter what boat you got, we're all, we're all mates really, aren't we? It's like, oh, you've got a boat, I've got a boat as well, yeah. Conversation starter, in a way. Can't do that when you're walking around. Oh, you've got legs, I've got legs as well. Oh, you're breathing as well, that's oh, great. Going underneath the Millennium Sculpture, I think it's called. Past the trip boat. It's already got its Christmas decorations on. And a cafe boat as well, the floating tea room. So that's the that's where you'll find Santa Claus on that boat there. <laughs> and the next one here is the cafe boat floating tea room. And it's quite busy around here. Hey, uh, good. Yeah, man. Good. Just doing a live stream on YouTube if you want to say hello. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so I've got a sign here, it says 48 hours more in. Uh, just next to a boat. <laughs> I love that boat, it's called Meerkat. Simples. <laughs> uh, and then go past a pub called The Witch in the Wardrobe. Tattoo studio, give it another tattoo. Next to a hearing aid specialist. <laughs> Get a hearing sword as well. Hearing's good. Right, I'm just going to turn the camera around so you can see. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> oh, cheers, just a bit. <laughs> just going to turn around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got a mooring space I can just turn around and come back here, so that's great, great news. Lively inner city mooring, but not the kind that you'd expect, I don't think. Um, but a question I've missed from Julie. Sorry, Julie. Um, first ever chat. Hope I've done it right. There's no right or wrong way. As long as you can spell, <laughs> it helps. Because I know what you're talking about. I live on a narrow boat and wondered about what it would be. What would a boat to store in spares when cruising? So you like to stock up. Oh, I don't know, because there's not really much room to stop up on things, but I've definitely got a lot of spare coal at the moment. <laughs> That's my main worry in winter. Winter fuel. Keep me um, warm. Diesel, toilet fluid, if you need that sort of stuff. You don't, you know, if you don't have a compost. Yeah. Incredible building here on the right. It says, if I pronounce this right, Doherty's Oil Mill? Or Del yeah, something like that. 1863 is the date on the stonework. There's a lot of buildings in Lincoln, Lincoln that are a lot older than that. Most of them seem to be up on the hill. <laughs> Go on and on around here, there's loads of space, loads of room. And in winter, two day moorings turn into two week moorings, unless state otherwise stated, which is fantastic. Right, so this 
we're almost it. We've got to turn round and then make our way back into the into the main area. My boat's a little bit too long to turn around right now. It's not the size of that little trip boat. <laughs> Just spin around anywhere to get that one. I've got to go right to the end before the lock. That's a little highway, but there's highway maintenance, but yeah, you know what I mean, it's just road, road sweeping, little truck. To know. I know this is my last live stream in quite a while. I mean, it's the last one I'll do before breaking for filming, getting back onto filming TV. But does it shake? Does it shake more? Does the camera shake more now, or when I do this? the mic was pointing downwards. Just turned it up. Yeah, not much difference in the feed then, that's good. So it's still just a slightly little bit wobbly. Well, it is for me, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> right, stamp end lock is the next one, but we're not going to go through it. We ain't going to go through this one, man, because this one... Yeah, if I was heading on to Boston, that's what I would do, but I'm going to turn around and I'm going to more up in Lincoln for a few days. I just wanted to um, show you this little bit as well. Because I like that, you know? That's a really bloody nice guy. Okay? Right! I can't hear you, by the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, cheers, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a new one, should come out next year sometime, not sure when. <laughs> thank you. That was lovely of them to say that. The guillotine lock, this one. Um, the guillotine looks like, yeah, it's down. You can't quite see it. It's almost at water level. There's also a weir, so I'm going to check. I'm going to turn around now, <laughs> so I don't get the, you know, sort of, uh, stuck by that weir. Oh, so earlier on I said about the river, we're on the river with them, I said that we were heading into the current, you know, coming the other way. I wasn't, that's not, I should have said the other, other way around. This is why I have to edit my videos so much, because I just talk so much rubbish, so much wrong. <laughs> I don't know how I got a job with the BBC. <laughs> they keep me on track. But yeah, I'll just turn around now. Um, we're heading against the flow now. There's not much of a flow at all. But you can see Lincoln Cathedral up on the right there. 
lit up in the sunshine. And we're all the way around now, heading back into Lincoln. Lovely. Guillotine locks, uh, if, you, if you've never been through one, um, they're quite easy to, to do really. It's just different, you know. You're using a button, you just press a button most of the time. Although some of them you have to wind the hand and it takes a long, long time. <laughs> just being followed by some swans behind us, let's have a look at them. Hoping that I've got some food for them. But Sorry, I ate all my crumpets this morning, there's nothing left. That's it, all gone. I've got some vegetable peelings, who want? Yeah, not, not interested, are they? <laughs> Addicted to bread and cake. Got a really kind comment there from Matt Allen, Crank It Crew extraordinaire. He's been with me right from the beginning, but he just left a really nice comment. I was just wondering if he's okay. Maybe he's full of nil. <laughs> banner, yeah, hey, banner. You know, us blokes got to have to get our own banner all the time, don't we? You can't be, can't express any sort of sincere compliment. <laughs> no, I appreciate that, Matt. Thank you so much, mate. Love it. Mr. Pastry's asking me, do you get around the West Midlands much? No, not, not so much, I suppose, you know. But uh, who knows what the future holds. I've done Norbury Junction and Wolves before, but I might, you know, could do them again. Because I've not done them for TV, I don't think. No, I haven't. Done. It's for YouTubes. <coughs> Emma says, sorry for heckling you as we went by. <laughs> you weren't heckling me. It got worse when I went into Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, this neat little footbridge, it's cool, isn't it? Lincoln's a really fun place, I've got to say. It's, it is quite a touristy town, a city, but there's a lot of locals here as well. You know, it's a real mix. All, all walks of life, I'd say. It's a big student town as well, it's a lot of students. What a, what a brilliant place to be a student. If you are a student watching this, uh, get back to your study. No, um, check out the atmosphere if you've not been there. It's a karaoke club. <laughs> You're right there. Thank you so much. <laughs> You'd give me a big head. <laughs> well, I'll have to keep buying the different hat sizes. And all that. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll see TV change a little bit from that. I don't know, because it's very completely different to how the TV programmes are made. Um, and it's con trying to concentrate on what, what it's really like, rather than trying to set things up all the time. We film just what happens, you know. <laughs> oh, just going past this tree. Oh. Watch out for trees because they, uh, yeah, it's a 
sometimes I get fishing lines caught in them. Almost there, just got about 10, 15 minutes left in the stream. And I'll clock off. And I might go on the gym actually. So I need to warm up and do some exercise. And then I'll get a pint. Uh, this is the last live stream pull. Uh, for a while, just gonna leave it here. I've really enjoyed doing this because it's just great cruising around, showing you what it's really like. You know, there's no editing involved. Obviously, the signal does vary greatly, but I've really enjoyed it. Chatting to you whilst I'm journeying along, it really does break up the journey, especially the ones that I've done before. You know, it's, it's great. So, thank you, thank you so much. Thanks to everyone that's liked the videos and shared them. I do appreciate that. And even if you're watching it back on Facebook, which I'm not on Facebook, but hello to everyone on Facebook. Now, if you want to reach me and ask me any questions, I'm on Twitter, uh, on Instagram as well. And I'm on YouTube next as well. Am I on YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Right, turn the camera around because you don't want to see my face anymore. <laughs> well, we're going back in, so I'm going to see this in the return view. The last of the autumn leaves clinging to those leaves, aren't they? some of the ground now. Waste truck on our left. I, just, I love how I'm just commenting on things. <laughs> well, there's a DPD van just about to pass by. It's like, yeah, and what? What, Robbie? Why? Why are you saying this? <laughs> but yeah, it's hard to know what to say. I'll just shut up. Right in front of this boat here, I think, <laughs> if they don't mind.
it's suddenly got really windy. Which always makes it a little bit harder to uh, moor your boat up when it gets windy. Obviously, you know that already. Do I think? Take that mooring spike off the roof. <laughs> give people uh, implements to break in with <laughs> within easy reach. But I'll probably steal my coal before they steal anything else. <laughs> Nine bags of it on the roof. I feel rich. <laughs> rich in fossil fuels. Right then, so that's it. Thanks so much for joining me on this live stream. And then, yeah, take care. See you next time. Bye.